education more relevant. Let's talk about nukes. those kinds of nukes. We can talk about those later. We're talking about the nukes next door. Nuclear reactors. There are a lot of common misconceptions around the use of a nuclear reaction to generate power. We'll be covering three of those today. Myth number one. Nuclear reactors can explode like an atomic bomb. This is not true for a lot of reasons. First and foremost, atomic bombs need a large clump of uranium to explode. This is called a critical mass. All reactors have uranium at a sub-critical mass. In layman's terms, that, this means that even if we removed all control methods from a nuclear reactor, the uranium cannot explode. With that in mind, we have many safety methods in nuclear reactors. We have fail-safes, and we even have fail-safes to those fail-safes. These have been working quite well. There are a hundred operating nuclear power plants in the United States, and the last major accident happened at Three Mile Island in 1979. That's 35 years ago. This all being said, uranium can still melt. If the melted uranium gets out of the reactor core and into the containment vessel, this can mean that a large swath of it, the air around the reactor getting high doses of radiation. This radiation can then travel really far because of global winds. Thankfully, this hasn't happened on a global scale since the accident at Chernobyl. We'll talk about radiation and its effects next Friday. Myth number two. Nuclear power creates a lot of greenhouse gases, evident by the large amount of smoke leaving the chimneys. Luckily enough, it is not smoke, but merely steam. Nuclear reactors put off a lot of excess heat, and they need to cool that somehow. What they do is transfer the heat to the air in the chimney through water. Here's a quick video that explains the nuclear process much better than I ever could. Here it is. The process of creating electricity using nuclear power begins with the splitting of uranium atoms in the reactor. This process, called fission, produces heat. In a pressurized water reactor, the heat from the water surrounding the nuclear fuel is kept under pressure to prevent it from boiling. The hot water is piped from the reactor vessel to a steam generator, where it transfers its heat to boil water and makes steam in a second system. After transferring its energy, the water is pumped back to the reactor vessel to be reused. The non-radioactive steam from the steam generator spins turbines that drive the generator to produce electricity. After the steam is used in the turbines, it is drawn into a condenser where it is cooled and condensed back into water and pumped back to the steam generator to be heated and reused. Myth number three. Living or working near a nuclear power plant is dangerous. This is not true. There is a decent amount of background radiation that penetrates our atmosphere. This radiation is coming from space. The amount received by living near a power plant is 10,000 times less than the amount of background radiation. Now that we have dispelled some of the myths, nuclear power sounds a lot safer. Thank you for watching.